Hi, this is Michael Becker. And in this Tinderbox lesson, I'm going to focus on showing you uh, potential and what can be done with Tinderbox uh, and not dig into the details of the how because there's a lot in that how and it's going to take us some time to tease that through and, and share the insights with you. Um, so we'll do that over time and certainly in the weekend meetups or uh, you can join my Patreon channel and we can dig into it uh, that way as well. But let me go ahead and show you this potential and it's super exciting. I'm, uh, I, I'm really an, enjoyed putting this together. So what you'll see here is I've got four different companies, uh, Norton, F-Secure, Acme, and Widgetco. Uh, and what I want to do with this file is I want to compare and contrast their product capabilities uh, against each other. So you'll see each one of them has a uh, the same product set. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to rank them. So for example, um, you know, the Norton LifeLock has a one for the alias manager feature. Uh, it's ranked as a three out of four for the password manager and so on. And so this type of ranking methodology of comparing, say, a, a, a suite of companies against their features um, is really common in industry and in, in, in many ways uh, from any uh, form of type of ranking. Now, what I've done here as well is I'm ranking the numbers one through four. Um, or zero through four, in fact, and a zero means they don't have the feature at all. Four means they're, that feature is great, and anything uh, in between is uh, going to be done in quarters. And what I mean by quarters is I'm going to represent uh, that capability in traditionally what's called, called a Harvey ball, which is a circle that's either not filled in at all, partially filled in by quarters, or completely filled in. Now, I'm going to get to that and show you the reveal in just a couple minutes. Now, see what happens. I go ahead and I've gone through and I've rated all of the companies and you'll also see I've populated their uh, company name and their company logo and such. And all of this is dynamically being filled in, um, which is kind of fun as well. So let me show you that. So for, for instance, let's say I go ahead and create a new org. We'll call it Nuco. And I'm going to assign the org prototype to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, assign the assessment products and you'll see Nuco's rankings against the 10 products that we had here and then you'll see that Nuco's negative one on all of those so let's say Nuco's just kind of marginally okay on all of those and here's a little trick by the way if you select all of these notes at once and you go to the quick stamp and you type rank because that's the attribute I want to fill in I can type in two apply and you'll see I've now given the rank of two to every single one of them, right? So that's pretty exciting that, we, that we're able to do that. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I want to go ahead and uh, show you here, uh, I've now run an agent and I'm having the agent go through and what it's doing is it's looking through the entire file for every note that begins with um, the P rank attribute and the companies that I'm listing in uh, this query here. So you'll see that Nuco is not going to show up in the agent list because I haven't um, entered it in here. Now I can later um, once I'm done with the demo. Now what's going to happen is uh, I've got an, uh, a bit of action code that's running in the background uh, and I can show you here uh, that it's essentially um, you know coloring the note uh, and populating the different elements of the fields etc. Um, that will allow me to essentially index the list um, go ahead and start processing the list and I'll show you the action code that really quickly that makes that happen. So essentially I, I zero out all my variables. I come here and I collect my children. I then process those lists um, and, and break them down. Uh, and then I go through it and I just ran I, I, with this you know, table. I basically go and build a table. Um, now, if you see here and I show you the reveal, that's what happens. So what Tinderbox does is it goes through here, collects all of the items throughout the list, takes the rankings, and then formats the list um, using a Harvey Ball font to render um, whether or not those numbers are um, you know, zero or four. And so you see Acme right here is a half on that one. If I go into the alias, the alias manager of Acme, and I change its ranking to four from two, and we go re-render the, uh, the graph, you'll see that Acme has now got a full ranking across the board. And so there you go. This is a really, really interesting way about going about uh, demonstrating that, uh, what you can do with Tinderbox and the notes and the way you can render um, using um, some um, basically templates 
action code, um, get the sorting right, etc. So um, hope you enjoyed that and it inspires you to think about what else you can possibly do with Tinderbox. Thank you very much. Bye.